You, so you know who Nicodemus is? I'm going to show you something about Nicodemus. I've been listening to some things that you've been saying. It sounds like you agree with a lot of the things that we're teaching today. Right. All right? My name is Officer Kaya. What's your name? Shakita. Shakita. Okay. Uh, Matthew chapter 3. Start at verse... Where it's talking about him being born again. Is that John chapter 3? John 3. John 3. John 3. Get John chapter 3. All right? Because you have to understand, sis. Yes. Homosexuality has been around for a long time, right? It's nothing new, right? That's what you said. But what has happened recently? I'm talking over the last, let's say, 20 years or so. Thank you. It's more open because it used to be called what? If a man was was gay, right? What we used to say about him? Or let's say when he came out. What did he come out of? Right. That means that it was what? There you go. Now is it hidden? It's not, it's not, all right? Um, uh, John chapter 3, read that. This is the book of John, chapter 3, verse 3. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again. Except what? A man be born again. So what we got to do, sis, is we got to be born all over again. Because we was taught wrong things by our parents. Right. We was taught wrong things on the TV, mm -hmm. right? We was taught wrong things in the movies we watch, right. we was taught wrong things in the people we look up to. Who does our people look up to today? Uh, Thank you. Are they teaching us the right things? No, they're not. They're teaching us lies. They're teaching us evil. They're teaching us to, to hang out on the corners and to sell drugs to our people. Teach. Right? They're teaching, they're teaching our, 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 our men to sleep with our brothers' wives, with our brothers' uh, 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 partners, so on and so forth. They're teaching us fornication. That's they're right. not teaching us to get married. Right. They're not teaching us to take care of our children. Right. They're right. teaching us to make babies and then to abort them. That's right. right. That's what they're teaching Bring us today. Those are lies, so we got to be born all over again. That's right. right? Read it again. Come on. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So we can't see the kingdom unless we become just like a little child, mm -hmm. right, and be taught all over again, right? So it's a lot of things that we thought we knew that we really don't know, right? It's a lot of things that we do that have negative effects on us and our children. But we don't realize it today because if we did, what would we do? We would change it. We would do something different, right? right. So I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you something. Get uh, get Isaiah chapter one. All right. And I want except the remnant. You know what I'm talking about? Verse nine. Verse nine. Read that for me, because it's only of the Lord that everybody out here not homosexuals. Only of the Lord. Come on. This is the book of Isaiah chapter one, verse nine. Except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant. A very what? A very small remnant. You got to understand that this remnant is speaking mainly, of, specifically of the children of Israel. So there's a remnant within the children of Israel that won't fall into the same sins that's going around all over the earth. All the other nations. Because we learn our wickedness from the other nations. That's what we learned that. God gave us his commandments. This is perfect. This is righteous. That's right. He didn't give it to anybody else. Right. He gave it to us, right? But when we forsook those ways and followed after the ways of the, of the heathens, the Gentiles, right? We became just like them, right? So now today we think that we're Gentiles, but we're not. We're God's chosen people. That's what the brothers was bringing out to you earlier, right? Read on. We should have been as Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. Now, Sodom and Gomorrah, when you read the Bible, represents homosexuality. When you read about the history of those cities in Genesis, right? That land, you had men desiring to have sex with other men in the Bible. I'm talking thousands of years ago. So you're right. Yes, homosexuality has been around for a long time. But the difference between then and now is what's winning today? Homosexuality is. You can't watch a TV show today without there being some gay nigga in the show. That's how it is today. Did you know? Did you realize that? You can't watch a TV show today without there being some gay man in the right, show. Right. 20 years ago, it wasn't like that. So what's happening? Matthew chapter 24. What's happening right now? You got to understand that things are getting worse and worse and worse. And that's right. why you see these brothers out here today. That's why we out here teaching today. Because we got to show you what's going on in the times that we're living in. Verse 12. 
This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 12. Uh -huh. And because iniquity shall abound. And because of what? Iniquity shall abound. So iniquity is abounding right now. Right? People are becoming gayer and gayer and gayer. Right. Men is becoming weaker and weaker and weaker. Right. right? A woman, believe it or not, you know what they're becoming? More manly. And more manly and more manly. That's what's happening today. Right? That's iniquity abounding. That's iniquity. We're, we're, our, this land is becoming more and more and more whore, whoredom-like. Right? That means that men is having sex with women and not marrying them. Making babies and not being a father to them. You understand? Mothers not being taught how to love their children. That's what's going on today. Our older women are not teaching women how to love their husband, how to love their children, because they don't have a husband. That's right. Right? Who's raising these children today? Bring it up. Bring Who's that raising up. these children today? Right? Mo most of these men that you see, you understand, regardless of what ghetto you go to, right? Usually, who's the one that's rearing that child up? Is there a father in the home? Sometimes, but most of the time, what's the case? Most of the time, is there a father in the home? Most of the time? No. If it is, he's there for a season, right? And then it's a different man for the next season. Then it's a different man for the next season. Bring it out. Right? That's, that's, the commu that's, the, that's the condition that we live in today. Right. right? Read that again. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Right, so you know what comes with homosexuality? Get Romans chapter 1. You know what comes with that? A lot of other evil. Right. A lot of other demons. Right? Can you create life with homosexuality? No. So what's going to happen to your whole nation if everybody becomes a homo? Right. If everybody becomes a sodomite? Right? right? What's going to happen? The Bible calls homos sodomites. So when I say sodomite, you got to think homo. You understand what I'm saying? Read what you got. It's the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 26. For this cause, God gave them up to vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. So even of old, right, we had women doing things with their body that they should not do. It's going to tell you what they were doing. Listen good. Come on. Verse 27. And likewise... Also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman. What's the natural use of a man with a woman? Bring it up. What's the natural use of a man with a woman? Are you asking? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Chiquita, right? What's the natural use? What's the natural use of a man with a woman? Say it again. To become one. Yes, to become one. That means to marry, to have sex, to bring forth children, to be fruitful and to multiply. That's, right. That's what the scripture says. Right. Now, can two men do that together? Can two women do that together? No, lest there be some evil involved. Right. That's the only way it can happen. That's right. Lest there be some evil involved. You know what type of evil I'm talking about? I'm talking about the science created by the so-called white man on this earth. That's right. All right, that will change a man into a woman right. that was born a man. That's that right. will change a woman into a man that was born a woman. That's right. Right? That's evil. That's the left side of God. That's not of the Bible. You understand? There's judgments for that. Right. All right? Come on. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burn in their lust one toward another. Men with men huh? working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. I want the part where it talks about all the other spirits that comes along with that. Verse 29, read that. Because yep. these are the things that come with homosexuality that we don't think about. Right. Right? We don't think about, we think about the lust being fulfilled. We really think about me doing what I want to do. Really, we just hate God and we want to do the opposite. We want to rebel. We want to be in defiance to everything God says because we're upset with the conditions that we live in today. Right. That's why we do that. Come on. It's the book of Romans chapter 1 verse 29. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication. Because homosexuality, uh, being a sodomite, you understand, that is unrighteous according to the Bible. The natural use would be for two to become one, like you said, a man and a woman, right? To become one, to be fruitful and to multiply. When you don't do that, all right, and you interrupt that spiritual course of life, 
These are the things that follow that we don't consider. Come on. Fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness. Because when you covetous, when you want something and you're willing to break God's laws to have it. Right. God says that a man shall not lay down with another man right. or an animal. But when you say, nah, I want to push that aside. I want to do what I want to do. Right. right. That's a covetous spirit. You want to break God's laws to fulfill your own lust. That's right. Come on. Now, there's no end to that. All right, you open that portal. At first you wanted, you a woman, you want to deal with another woman. Now you want to deal with how many women? You understand? Multiple women. These are the things that happen. Right now you don't want a, a, a human being anymore. You need an animal, right? That's These are the types of spirits that follow homosexuality, right? It's like when you are jealous of someone and now you hate them. And now you're thinking about how you can dead them. Right? Wow. All of these thoughts go through your head. Right. But it started with what? You just being jealous of somebody. Right. But there's spirits that follow. Come on. Full of envy. Murder. Debate. Murder. You hear that? Murder. Bring it murder. Up. Murder. You know what that means? That means if you're bisexual, right, you would be willing to kill this child that you had, right, out of wedlock, all right, so that you can continue to live the lavish lifestyle that you want to live. That's what you'll do. There's a murder spirit that follows homosexuality. That's what we're showing you in the Bible. Come on. Deceit, malignity. Then you'll lie about it, right? Or you'll justify your actions. Right. That's what you'll do. You'll come up with some excuse to justify your sin. Some excuse to justify you being able to continue to break God's laws. Come on. Pro-choice, yeah. right? You'll say it's, it's you'll label it. You'll give it a fancy name and call it pro-choice, right? Plan parenthood, but you plan in the death of your babies. Right. That's what you're doing. My body, my choice. My body, my choice, right? These are the things that's going on today. These are the things that's going on today, right? But guess what? You know what will resolve all of this? Mm, bring it up. You know what will resolve all of this? It's one solution, right? It's one solution. I'm going to show you. Read on. Whisperers, backbiters, haters of God. Haters of who? Haters of God. Mm. Right. So these people hate God. If you're a homosexual, right, a sodomite is what the Bible will call you. I'm talking about a woman that desires another woman. A man that desires another man. God says that you hate him because he gave you the law. Right. right? They said that a man... Right? Shall cleave unto a woman, right. right? And they shall be one flesh. That's right. Right? God created the woman from his rib. Right? So there's no purpose for a woman on this earth outside of her head, which is a man. That's, right. That's what the Bible says. But when we go outside of that, you know what we're really saying to God? We're saying that we hate God. That's what we're saying. Right, but no one walks down the street and say, I hate the most high, I hate God, I hate Christ. Right, we don't walk around saying that, but in our actions, that's what we teach. That's what we're teaching. Come on. Backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things. We invent new things. Right? Transgender, that's a new thing in the earth. That's right. You don't read about that in the Bible? Right. Show me a scripture. Right Show it to me. That's a new thing in the earth. God said that that would happen if you forsook his laws. That's right. Right? right? Look at the conditions we living in today. Right? right? Look at the, the homosexuality is making these conditions remain in your community. Right. We're not doing anything against that. Right? We got to keep God's laws to fix what you see out here. Right? right? And it's going to start with what? A woman and a man learning what their natural course, their natural purpose on this earth. Come on. Disobedient to parents without understanding. Covenant breakers. Right? So now today, a little boy can tell his mother at nine years old, I think I'm a woman. Right. I think I'm a girl. Right. I, I think I should be able to choose my sex. Right. I should be able to choose my identity. Right? These are laws that's being passed in your community today. Right. So what are you going to do about it? That's right. What y'all going to do about it? You just going to sit back and go with the flow? No. Guess who's educating our children today? The same people that brought us and our forefathers here in slavery, That's in chains. Right. 
That's who's educating our little boys today, our little girls. And what are they teaching them? That homosexuality is okay. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.